Hey everyone, how are you doing today? I'm Kirsty if you're new here and welcome to the second of my alphabeti baguette which is the letter B. For today's pick I have chosen the boy, the f let's see if I can remember it without having to look at, down at my computer. The boy, the fox, the mole and the horse. Okay, I almost got it. The boy, the mole, the fox and the horse by Charlie Maxey. This is a graphic, it's not really a graphic novel, but it's also not a story, but it is a very visual book. And I have chosen this one because it made me cry <laughs> in a good way. This is a very wholesome book and it kind of follows the story of this young boy who's feeling a little bit alone, a little bit unsure of himself. He's got a lot of fears and a lot of doubts in him and along his way he meets these creatures. So he starts off by meeting a mole who kind of just wants to eat cake all the time. Then they find the fox who feels very ousted because everyone just assumes that because he's a fox, he's gonna be sly and cunning and not worth talking to. And then you've got the horse who people are afraid of him because he's so big, when in actual fact, he's a gentle giant. And it's just following all of these four as they kind of discuss life and experience and fear and grief and honestly it was such a beautiful book like there was one picture in particular I if I can find it because my physical book unfortunately is in storage right now but if I can find it I will impose it here and it's just like the horse puts his head on top of the boy's head and is basically like you are loved you and I just it hit me so hard I'd had a very difficult day that day anyway because I remember buying it on my way home from a thing, I was at a social event that had drained me and left me feeling very fragile and very hurt. And on the way home, we just stopped by Sainsbury's and it was an offer, on offer. And I remember I just sort of, it really helped comfort me when I was having that real low day and it's one of those books that you can go back through any time and there's like little messages and quotes and inspiration all throughout it and the other thing that i loved about this book were the illustrations themselves they're very loose like they're not finished they're not perfect they're just very loose ink drawings and they give off an almost watercolor effect as well i think charlie does use some watercolour in there but most of the work is just sort of you can tell it's like an ink with a brush and it's very loose handed and it just to go it's very gentle which goes beautifully with the rest of the storytelling and in the intro to the book the thing that I liked is that Charlie himself was saying that he always struggled to read a book from cover to cover so he deliberately designed the book that you can just open it onto any page and you don't need to have read anything before it to be able to understand what was going on and just to pick it up and read a bit. I did read it cover to cover so if you do read it to cover to cover there is a slight narrative where I was saying about this boy and it kind of introduces each of the characters but it is also a book that you could literally just pick it up and open it onto a random page a day and read it in completely whatever order you want and it still can make sense and it's still a beautiful book. I just I love how this book gives you the story and just gives you those little bits of motivation and those little bits of encouragement and I'm not normally one for affirmations but this kind of felt like it's a little book with a hug of affirmations and it just gives you that sort of feel good emotional like I was even considering getting one of the illustrations again if I can find it on Google I'll put it up here but I'm thinking about maybe getting one of the illustrations done as a tattoo because I just thought it was so whimsical and lovely and it gave me this is like a universal book whether you're a hundred years old or two years old there's something to enjoy and the characters are really sweet I love the mole 
Like, there's one bit in particular where he just eats a cake and he's like, I bought a cake. I ate the cake. And it was just so cute. <laughs> like, this whole book, I didn't stop smiling the whole time. And even when I was crying, it was like, because I felt seen and I felt so loved. And it's, like I said, it's like just warmth and a hug in a book. And I definitely think this is one that everybody can enjoy. And is especially like if you've got kids, I think this would be a lovely one to, you can open a page, read the, that day's picture and that day's bit and have a discussion around it. Like the one where it's the horse saying you are loved. You could then sit and have that discussion with your child about that they are loved and things. And there was one where they were saying that they're scared of things. So you could sit and talk to your child about, you know, it's okay to be afraid of things. Like maybe talk through like what fears do we, and it, I think it would be a fantastic book to sort of help bond with somebody and especially with like parents and children. I just think it's a fantastic one that a lot of resources can be drawn from it. And yeah, I, I loved it. I haven't, I've only read it a couple of times, but I definitely, definitely recommend it as a very lovely, warm, yet also quite deep and heartfelt story. So that is my kind of review slash recommendation for the letter B. Let me know in the comments if you have read this and what your thoughts were on it. Next video will be the letter C and I have got my book picked out already. I know what I'm doing for that one. So I'm quite excited to get into this one and I will see you on the next video. Bye.